Hi Pisces, I hope you're doing well. So we'll be looking at whoever you're thinking about here for the rest of the year. We have, let's look at signs. We have Gemini, Virgo, Scorpio. Very strong air signs though. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sagittarius, um, Libra specifically. And then we also have Taurus coming through. So who this person is, we have Mercury, Pluto, Ace of Cups, Ace of Swords. So this is someone who's highly intelligent um, and they're well aware of that. They're, I think they're not only, I'm getting emotional intelligence here. And I'm also getting someone who is intelligent in the sense that they're quite patient with others. This is someone who likes to observe this is not someone who will jump to conclusions. You know, they, they take their time, whether that's with a school. There, there's a thirst to know more. They're always curious. They're questioning. They're reading between the lines. So a lot of their intelligence comes from a very heightened intuition as well. You know, it's a mix. Not only are they, you know, quite sharp-minded, but their intuition is really backing um, them up or helping them as well so I think in regards to their self-image they have a healthy self-image um, they're quite you know this isn't someone who is full of themselves so they're practical in that they know themselves and they know what they're capable of so I think they have a bit of a head start in regards to they know themselves well so they know what they can and they cannot achieve so they don't aim for anything that you know they know that they would fail at in a way hopefully i'm making sense um for their reputation how they're perceived by others we have second house uranus empress five of pentacles queen of pentacles so for one this person is extremely um well put together um they they're attractive to others and others are almost gravitate towards them they have this natural pull a lot of this has to do with your person's you know not very easy going going with the flow energy um th this is someone who's quite light-hearted for the most part maybe a bit introspective or a homebody so others may view your person as quite private, but also someone who's very financially focused. In regards to their income, it can be someone who does something a bit out of the box. So there may be some unique aspect to their uh, career, their vocation, and as in, you know, they're. I'm not getting this as a nine to five job type of person. So I think their income comes in sporadically. So it's not, you know, they get paid weekly every week or every two weeks. This is, I'll give you an example, say for an actor, um, they'll get a lump sum of money at one time, right? So I think that is what is coming through here. But very financially focused. I think they have a good business sense. And a lot of them, I was telling you, it's that intuition of theirs. It's a very, it really helps them in making decisions and in regards to business and just in general in their life. Let's move on to their heart space, how they experience and deal with emotions. We have judgment hanging man. They are someone who, you know, they don't jump to conclusions. I mentioned that they can be very emotional, but this is an emotional fool. They take their time and I'm getting that very peaceful, calm energy for the most part. Um, when it comes to you, I'll get to that. There's some issues that you will have to work through, but you know, it's okay. We'll get there. But yeah, for the most part, it is someone who will take a step back, really assess, you know, what I'm feeling. Is that justified? Is it right? Am I being biased? You know, they're, they're objective and they'll look at things from all different perspectives so this is someone who can easily put themselves in another shoes um, they're quite flexible when it comes to uh, their emotions for their mind space how they demonstrate their intellect their thought process we have knight of swords ace of wands so once this person you know 
comes to a conclusion and they feel that what they're feeling is justified, they can be quite headstrong. Someone who's quite black and white, you know, not in a stubborn sense, but in the sense that they know right from wrong and they don't waver from uh, their values too often. And with that Knight of Swords, Ace of Wands, when they're expressing themselves, they're quite direct. Some would say they're extremely blunt. And, you know, when they express themselves, it's with a lot of passion. It's because they've thought about it. Once they make up their mind, they do. They're quite sure of themselves and they're quite confident in the way they express themselves. Very passionate communicator, for sure. This is not someone boring, dull. You know, they have a lot to say and then they will speak their mind. For their spiritual beliefs, we have Justice, Five of Swords. I'm not sure if they're spiritual. They can be. But what is coming through is this is someone who is fair and they believe in karma. So they think if you do good, you'll attract good. You know, if you wrong someone, that is what you'll attract. So sort of that is their mentality in regards to spirituality. Um, they're a very just person and they try to do the right thing for the most part. Your first impression of them, Pisces, we have Queen of Wands Temperance. So Sagittarius coming through. Um, you'll see them as quite confident. Eye candy for sure. Right off the bat, this is instant a love at first sight type of attraction. It'll hit you out of nowhere. I don't think you'll see this person coming um you know but you'll see them as quite warm loving accepting there's a warmth to this person they'll draw you in they exude it's fire so yeah they exude confidence but also sexual magnetism they did have pluto in their energy right there this is someone who appears to be quite when you meet them very upright you know out there outgoing but once you get to know them, they may even appear to be someone who who's talks before they think, who speaks before they think. But once you get to know them, you'll see that there's a lot going on behind the surface. This person has a complex mind. They're always thinking. They're always strategizing, not in a bad way. But yeah, what meets there's more to what than what meets the eyes for sure. For your life circumstances, when you'll meet, we have a Virgo, Chiron, Four of Swords, Seven of Pentacles, Knight of Wands, King of Swords. So some of you may be healers in the medical field, or it's a time in your life where you're focusing more on your health, um, body, physical activity is coming through, um, perhaps healing from something else. We do have Four of Swords here, right? So you're, some of you will be healing, others of you, you're quite focused on yourself, doing, you know, going about your daily life. Um, I think you're ready. It's almost as if you've been patient and you're waiting for this person. Um, you're looking for, it's almost as if you're settled. Um, you know, you're comf in a comfortable position, perhaps you're at a uh, stable position in your life whether you know you're you have your finances in order or you're you know you've you're in your career that you're that you've wanted to pursue and things are going well but they're a bit boring almost and you're looking for an adventure i'm getting very mature energy coming from you pisces you're not letting your emotions sway you here. You're in a very practical state of mind. But it's not to the extent where you're appearing rigid. You're you're up for a good time. That is your energy, really. You're you're being smart about your who you give your time and energy to is what is coming through. Your person's first impression of you. We have five of wands, two of pentacles. They see you as busy. You know, you have a lot going on. Perhaps you meet while traveling, knight of wands. So, yeah, preoccupied here. We're perhaps juggling work, school, school work. And for others of you, it, it can be that they see that they have competition. 
you know, there's that mutual love at first sight kind of feeling. So, you know, it's almost as if I find her so beautiful or him so handsome that they may have, must have other options and I need to fight for them is the energy. Your person's extremely jealous, very jealous. I'll get to that in your oracle cards. For their life um life circumstances when they meet you we have nine of pentacles wheel of fortune five of cups so they have recently gone through a breakup or just bad luck in their life when they meet you but they're coming out of that so their luck is changing um they're feeling quite abundant um finances are looking good everything's good they're single they're independent and i think they're waiting for you almost but this, you know, this hasn't come to them easily. They've been through a lot of ups and downs in their life and loss of a relationship, loss of a close loved one. We don't know, but they're recovering from something. They're healing. We have healthy choices here with cassette. We have outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over in your head. So there's something they're stuck on. At past, I'm getting a relationship, some sort of betrayal. Perhaps they were cheated on. And we have healthy choices, making healthy choices in love and in life. Self-love, self-care, being happier. Yes, that really, the nine of pentacles, they're, they're in a space where they're happy alone. And I think that's when you attract the best relationships, right? When you're complete within yourself and then you attract someone on a, in a similar vibration, and I see that here. You're the king of swords. So let's see with their jealousy. <laughs> okay, let's start with these love oracles. We have long distance. It may be tough to keep the love alive or they live in another location from you. Try to stay positive. This is coming through twice. There is distance. At the bottom of your love tea, we have distance, long distance. We have wasting time in your face notes <laughs> okay so this is a bit of a detective someone who doesn't trust easily and they will be a bit of a stalker detective when it comes to you you know gathering information about you if you meet at say school work they, they're paying attention and they're asking people about you. They're paying attention to your social media and very possessive. We had second house tourists coming through, right? Once you're theirs, you're theirs. <laughs> they, they're not someone who will tolerate infidelity and just quite territorial when it comes to you, I think. There's a fear of losing you, especially if they've been cheated on in the past. And I'm getting that here as well with your love cards. We have jealousy. Look at that. And don't you love confirmation? Jealousy and in your face. And it's the male energy that's worried the female is going to run away with someone else. <laughs> it's interesting. It doesn't matter though. Gender doesn't really matter. And then we have a problem and disillusionment. So a lot of their fear comes from that once you get to know the true them, you won't accept them. You won't like what you see. And some of you may be quite different, you know. This is two puzzle pieces not fitting together. So it could be a different race, religion, or just personality differences, really. Especially if it's air and water coming together. Yeah, there can be that initial differences, but it's also what draws you both together. But yeah, you'll have some challenges, especially in regards to this person's insecurities. They're not, see, this is not an insecure person in general. But when it comes to you, I think this will be triggering sometimes for them. And we have emotional fear. It will be hard to resist an emotional connection with someone who's already involved. Mm, see this is tricky i think it'll be different we had this five of cups some of them are still in that connection and others of them are you know they're single when they meet you or they've just recently separated from 
whoever they were with, or for very few of you, they may be leaving someone for you. Um, this is a bit of an unexpected connection for the both of you, so you know we can't rule that possibility out here. I do want to get more. Let's see if I can get more with just the astrological cards in regards to their personality. <laughs> Scorpio jealousy, not surprise. Oh, Taurus. We saw that with the second house. It's confirming a lot of what I was telling you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we have eighth house. There's an age difference here, Pisces. I think they may be younger for some of you, but uh, I'm not sure about that one. They can be older as well. We have Taurus, Scorpio, Moon, Cancer, fourth house, Cancer again, third house, Gemini, Trine, Leo. So I believe we had Taurus, Scorpio, and Gemini come through strongly in your other spread. So fixed sign energy, right? This, I was saying that they're not normally an insecure person. I'm not getting insecurity, but they are prone to jealousy. You know, once they, for one, this person doesn't commit easily. They take their commitments very seriously. Um, this is a fixed sign coming through three times. So yes, <laughs> they they can be stubborn and once they claim you as their own then, then they don't uh, sometimes a shadow aspect of taurus and second house can be viewing your partner as a possession but i'm not getting that strongly this is a wise person i don't you know some of them can have control jealousy possessiveness here with scorpio they can be you know they're naturally suspicious as a person we had mercury mercury pluto always reading between the lines but they are someone who's quite emotional i was telling you they can be a bit of a homebody that's coming through twice here as well this you know family means a lot to this person and you know this is someone who is likely to have a good relationship with their mother or very sentimental as a person likely to have a good relationship with their family their siblings especially with the fourth and third house paired together let me see if i'm getting anything else yeah very easygoing energy for the most part very homely easygoing this is someone who'd make a great parent if you want kids they're very family oriented extremely loyal um, person this can be a bit of a foodie as well so quite sensual as a person they have a high uh, sex drive because we have eighth house scorpio and taurus so this is someone who's quite romantic um, i'm seeing candlelight dinners also cooking together may be something they really enjoy but enjoying the finer things in life so they'll like to wine you dine you you know all that kind of thing this is someone who has a good memory they'll remember important dates when it comes to you very emotional as well very caring empathetic individual can be a bit hard to read sometimes if something is bothering them they may, may may not readily share that with you though yes pisces that is what i'm getting for this energy here let me see do you want some characteristics i do let's see if we can get anything We have spontaneous. 
I'm not sure about that one though. The rest of the spread's not quite supporting it, but your first impression of them was such that they are quite outgoing, spontaneous, a risk taker. They may appear to be that way, but this is someone who plans. They're very careful. Oh my God. <laughs> Homebody for sure, all over this reading, Pisces. This is someone who can be a bit... I'm not getting they lack friends, but they enjoy their home. Having a home with you will be very important for them. We have well-traveled, again, that distance coming through. Let's get a couple more and then we can wrap this reading up. Will Pisces and Mary? We have discipline. Speaks more than one language. Again, that foreign element is coming through. It doesn't have to be. But yeah, quite disciplined. I was seeing that with the earth energy. We'll get one more Pisces. What did I tell you? Good memory. This is someone who's extremely intelligent. Um, they remember <laughs> important dates. Something you like, something you don't like. Little details in regards to you. Um, they'll remember. They're quite thoughtful as a person. So, you know, it can be as little as you going on a date and saying you don't like pineapples. They'll remember that. So a very detail-oriented person, Pisces. Beautiful energy. I love them. They're, I can tell you that this is someone who will be with you long-term. Taurus does not enter and you know into relationships easily. And, you know, all this fixed sign energy, this person, you know, a little bit... If you're someone who's more spontaneous, likes changes, they may be someone who's a bit resistant to change. So that is another aspect that they may need to work on but very much loyal committed to you in love with you for sure their energy they'll be quite obsessed with you in a way and chemistry in the bedroom will be steamy for sure and that is what i have for you pisces hopefully this was helpful do like and comment if you enjoyed the reading otherwise take care of yourself and i will see you later bye